is fifty dollars. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, and I just ruined a hundred dollars. No, but seriously, I'm gonna show you how to actually make fifty dollars in PayPal again and again and again, over and over and over. I'm gonna show you this one site, which is just gonna blow your mind. Very easy. Accepts people from all over the world. I'm gonna show you right here on my computer. John Cristani, internet millionaire, teaching people all over the world how to work from home. Get out of that office. Let's get it. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to earn $50 in PayPal money. This is very beginner friendly. You can do it over and over and over and over and over and over. And at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you three additional ways to earn money online, one of which has a very special place in my heart and has actually made me, well, I'll, I'll just, I'll tell you how much money this one method has made me a little later after I show you how to get this PayPal money. Let's go to it. This is my little buddy. He's a new pet of mine. Now the site you'll want to go on is called Remo Tasks, okay? And you can check it out right here. I'm going to zoom in on it right here. Remotasks.com. You see that? And you'll want to check out this site. Now this is a site where you can earn money doing tasks. And you can start earning from home right now. Um, as you see, so there's a lot of different things you can do. You can categorize different things. Look, make money categorizing things. You can make money from PayPal. You can make money taking exams. You can make money looking at images. You can make money look, you know, categorizing things, transcribing audio. There's a gazillion different tasks you can make money from with this website. It's very simple, very easy to use. There's a lot of stuff on it and we can check it out right here. So look, image annotation, okay? They're showing you just by saying, where is the car in the image, okay? Certain companies like mine need people to fill out captures for them or need people to tag images for search engine optimization. There's a million reasons why we need to annotate images, but basically we need to help the computers understand what's in an image, okay? Computers, I mean, as we know, control like trillions of dollars. So we really need to help the computers help us make money, right? There's categorization, right? We need to categorize lots of items. This is image transcription, okay? So taking an image of a menu, a lot of people take images of an actual restaurant menu, but sites and companies need that actually turned into text. Another thing is people need things compared. There's so many different jobs that people need done. Transcription, which means you're listening to audio and you're writing down what people are saying because computers can't just understand audio. They need actual written text and you can do data collection. So there's a lot of different jobs here and you can earn that money going straight to your PayPal. Now here I am signing up for the site and as you see, all you have to do is you have to go to the bottom and you have to click this button right here which says sign up right there and you click sign up. You just agree to some terms and then you can sign up with Facebook. So all you need is a Facebook account to get started. Okay, so you might be wondering what's the catch, okay? All this work is super easy. Why, why, what, what, what's the catch? Where's the, where's the hidden elephant? First, I'll go over the pros and the cons of this work, okay? We'll go over some of my recommendations here. But some of the pros are, if you're just getting started, if you are a beginner to the internet, if you're like, I know nothing, right? And you're scared, you're scared of doing any sort of sales or based stuff. The pros are, you don't have to sell anything, right? It's not commission based. You don't have to, you know, worry about rejection, right? If you're scared about the computers rejecting you, you don't have to worry about rejection. The pros are also, you get paid via PayPal. It's a $5 threshold, meaning that you have to earn $5 in order to get paid. So if you earn $2, you can't withdraw the money. So you have to earn at least $5. That's not really a pro or a con. And you get paid through PayPal. The other pro is there's lots of work, okay? Companies don't wanna hire employees anymore. It's plain and simple. I don't have employees. And the reason is, is because I don't wanna have an office. I don't wanna have to pay for food. I don't wanna have to pay for office politics. I don't wanna have to listen to people's emotions. When I work, I wanna work. I get enough comments on this YouTube channel of people whining, right? And if you run an office, if you have to manage people, you have to deal with people's, 
you know, saying, oh, I'm late because my mother is sick and I want to take care of her. But like, then you have to let them know that you run a business and you can't just have people, you know, skimp out on work because then it's not a business, all this stuff, right? So you don't have to deal with any of those things when companies are crowdsourcing and they're looking for people to work at home just like you and pay them for results of a task. Now, the flip side of things is what are the cons? Well, the cons are, unfortunately, you're probably not going to make more than $3 an hour. Okay. You're not going to make more than $3 an hour. It's easy work. You're like looking at images, you're clicking, you know, little quizzes or stuff, but you're not going to make much more than $3 an hour. So you're never going to become rich doing this. Also, it's not passive, right? It takes work. If you're not working, you don't make any money. Now, in my job or in my business as an entrepreneur, you know, I make, I make $10,000 a day, whether or not I do any work. Okay. If, if I don't work a certain day, if I just play video games all day, my business is still making me money. So the reason I work is because I want to make a lot more money. You know, I'm, I'm financially secure, but I want a yacht and yachts cost a lot of money. So that's why I work, but you're not going to become rich, right? You're never going to become rich. You're never going to be able to retire doing this, you know, no retirement. The cons are big. You're not going to make more than $3 an hour. That's enough said. So there's a lot of stuff with that. It's a place to get started. It's a place to see what jobs are out there. It's a place to see what people need, what problems people are having and they're paying people for. It's a good place to get experience on remote tasks, but it's not going to be a place for you to live and retire off of. And in order to make the big money, in order to make the sort of money that will make your family proud, in order to make the sort of money that will allow you to save up for retirement, to buy a car, to buy a house, you're going to need to do one of these business models on the internet. The first, I abbreviate SMMA. That stands for Social Media Marketing Agency. It really could be anything that you're doing marketing wise. This is how I started out. I started as an agency. I would find my own clients and I would do marketing tasks for them. I would help them with their ads, their Google ads specifically, or their Facebook ads, or their YouTube ads. I would help businesses and I charge them anywhere from 1,000 to $10,000 a month. Most businesses actually don't do marketing. You know, they focus on running a flower shop or a grocery store or a light bulb shop, or they make shirts, but they don't do marketing. So if you understand marketing and you follow the videos on this channel, you can help them out. You have an edge and you can charge for that edge. When I was running a marketing agency, I got up to about $50,000 per month in income. But the problem with running a marketing agency is still not super passive. You know, I had to talk to clients. I had to be continually meeting with new people. You know, I had to do customer service. I had to do sales and I had to do the company's marketing. So there's a lot more things involved. I had an office, I had employees and people who worked for me to do some of the jobs so I could do some of the sales and marketing, etc. So there's more moving pieces. You can outsource a lot of the work, which I did for a time, but still there's kind of a cap on what you can earn there. The next business model is e-commerce. And e-commerce is when you're selling products online, like this fake grass. This fake grass, fake plastic grass, I'm sure you can find it, somebody selling it online. And you could be the one selling fake grass, okay? You could go to alibaba.com and find some products and sell them in America. Find products produced in China or somewhere and sell them in another country. I think there's a lot of opportunity for that and go find it. Amazon is a trillion dollar company or something like that. So there's a lot of money and a lot of people becoming millionaires doing e-commerce. And the last one is affiliate marketing. Now this is a business I currently do and I've been making millions of dollars a year doing affiliate marketing for quite a while now. Now affiliate marketing is where you are selling somebody else's product using a link. Have you ever booked a flight? If you've ever booked a flight, you've probably used a site like Expedia.com, Orbitz, Cheapo Air, Priceline, something along those lines. Expedia doesn't own any airplanes. How are they selling plane tickets? Uber, if you've ever booked an Uber, does Uber own any cars? How do they make money? Do they have taxi drivers? No. How do they make money? Hotels.com is the largest hotel booking site. Does Hotels.com have any hotels? How do they make money? They're affiliate marketers, right? Hotels.com gets paid a cut 
Whenever they refer a customer to another hotel chain, they get a commission for making that referral. And as an affiliate, you can get a commission for making that referral. Maybe you're recommending interior design products. Maybe you have a blog recommending great lighting for video sets. Maybe you have a blog recommending windows for Southern California environments. Whatever it is, you can make money putting out information and referring people to the right source. And if you're looking to learn more ways that you can work from home and how to get started in these business models and go deeper into affiliate marketing, I recommend you actually get my book. It's only $1. The digital version is only $1 for my book called Work at Home, Secrets and Scams to Avoid because there are plenty of ways people get scammed trying to work from home. In fact, if you take up the wrong work at home job, you can even go to jail, but you won't do that because you're smart. There's bad jobs out there too. But in this book, I go over everything. I tell you a little bit about my story, but I also go over all the different sorts of jobs that you can do in order to make money online, okay? Here we are on page 34, I go over, there's about a dozen different sites that will pay you by the hour up to $35 an hour to work from home. Now check this out and also you'll get a free 30 day subscription to my monthly training series. With my monthly training series, you get a training every single week with me teaching you, with me and oftentimes a friend of mine, teaching you another business model where you can earn a six-figure income working from home. So thank you a lot for checking out this.